And Aegislash. Okay, Potato Green for the Aegislash. All right. Blastoise. Okay, sure, Blastoise. Actually, yeah, that's fine too. Bot lane Blastoise. All right, that's our draft. We have Wiggly, Blissey, Nightheads, Greninja, Aegislash against Lucario, Edigos, Vincent, Ace, Slowbro, and Blastoise. And Blaine on Blastoise going for the Buddy Barrier, Muscle Band, and Scorchy now with Fluffy Tail. Fluffy Tail and the Blastoise. Because he plays Sacred Sword and White Guard, the cooldowns are way too high to play Razor Claw in that build. Alright, we have game number one between Five Players and the Ermans, both currently 1 1 in the league. So, this is kind of for a top 2 spot in the league. Whoever wins this. And, oh, Five Guys going for 2 1 2. This is why we don't say XP share, Bulut. No XP share on Blessy because they're playing 2 1 2. And the Ermans are just going for the 1 1 3. Quite classic. Maybe they just know that their bot lane can hold against these three, right? Like, they're not strong. Blastoise. Or Squirtle, Slowbro, and Edigos are not a strong lane, right? They don't have much pressure, so they think that maybe Night has a Blissey can hold themselves in a 2v3. Two, two, uh, two so just making sure that Egg Slash has an easy time against Lucario on top side. And the 9 Lucario, a lot of experience as well. So I kind of like it. Just hope to see if they get someone here. Vazid's gonna pound it. No, he doesn't get it. Sniped away by the Water Gun. But Bruff just being very annoying. He's not gonna allow 999 to get any stacks whatsoever. That's kind of nice. And Potato really level 4. Focus Band does get blocked by Bruff. And Erzaron is looking for bot side. Waiting a bit on the on the Corpfish here to get level 5. Does he get it? Waits for minute 9. There we go. That's the level 5. And they're going for a form and push, bot push. I'm not going to call him Marv because if I say Marv, no one, no one knows who this guy is. No one knows who I'm saying. So I'm going to say 999. Alright, Vazid going in and actually gets some bees. Gets level 4. Evolves into Blissey. Quite fine. Let's see if nine Germans make a push for this. Doesn't look like it. Can't really do. I mean, this Blissey Knight is very hard to push in, right? So, on the top side. Meanwhile, five guys actually getting a lot of experience. And Tens already level 6. One entire level lead over Ezeron. So, this very good trade for the five guys so far. Pulling ahead in the 2 1 2. With the 2 1 2. Kind of like it. Good adjustment. Potato on level 5. Picking up a Sacred Sword now. Now is going very deep on bot side. Very, very deep, but totally fine. And actually, Bruff is invading! <laughs> he blinks over! No! Almost steals the blue buff away. Nice try by Bruff. He <laughs> actually the invading Blissey. I mean, it's quite difficult, right? Sinex can't really deal with this too much. Kiva's now trying to help out, walking around. And Bruff is just going back in, but I think Bruff is going to die slowly here. They are still fully on the thing. And yeah, Bruff is going to fall here. But honestly, this death doesn't matter too much. He bought a lot of time for Tens. Tens actually can maybe reach this now. Can he make it there? Sneaks in with a smoke screen. Did he buy enough time? I can't. Where is it? Yeah, he bought enough time for Tens to move into the enemy jungle. What a play. So my camera is bugged right now. I have to reset it. Nice play by Bruff. He's buying enough time for Tens to make it there. And now Blaine is under a lot of pressure. Gets auto attack. But actually, Tens has to be careful. There's 999. He's going to find the extreme speed. Yes. Tens dies. That's huge experience to nade over to the side of Yermans. Nice rotation by Lucario. No, Bruff has to be careful. Oh my god, they keep getting ported back to base. And Bruff is also gonna die to the water spout. Five guys with a huge lead that they had, kind of throwing it away a bit now. Dread spawning in 9 seconds. Tens is gonna be level 9 though. Not, not quite actually, he can't do the buffs right now. Yeah, he can't do the buffs. Yermans will just instantly start this Dreadnought fight. And Potatoes on the flank. But this Dredge is gonna disappear, right? We have a Puffy Tail, we have a Cinder Ace, and yeah, just goes off the side of Yermans. And Bosch Ricky has to be careful now. Gets, does he get picked off? Yeah, he dies to the Cinder Ace. Actually, too slow, bro. But Potato turning it around, finding Cinder Ace, who didn't get level 9 because he didn't get the kill, actually. Only an assist. And now Potato! Can he find more kills? Slow Bro's on HP. He does get Slow Bro. He's gonna trade himself for it. That was so unfortunate because Slow Bro got the last hit on uh, nine tails Cinder is second level nine here's ten just looking for some kids now can you find the surf reset doesn't even have to just gets two quick kids for him he's gonna get some nice scoring done as well I'm gonna pick those up maybe score one more time doesn't have to Zhang is back up so I'm gonna probably see him go back to Zhang at some point he actually no this yeah he did get it I thought he would lose it to the surf in my top side Rotom is up 999 is not level nine yet which is quite funny Wash Rookie only level 7. This Nine Tails is not having a good time this game so far. After losing Dread as well. Ruff looking for the last hit on the Rotom. Doesn't quite get it. Goes out to Yermans. Let's see. If they can actually get this Rotom in, it would be a lot of points going over to the side of Yermans. And nice kill. 999 going very deep. Finding the respeed reset as well with the Bond Rush. And Tens has to be careful as well now. Ezron jumping very deep. Does make to the second goal. And Ezron really wants this kill. Can't quite do it. 
And they score a good amount of points. Are they gonna break the score as well? It doesn't look like for now. Okay, they're gonna kill it probably in the last second. <laughs> Scoring three more points. And are they gonna kill it? Probably right. After this, 99 could maybe go for push as well. Dreadnought's not up yet, so. He could he could invade these Ordinos potentially. Looking for Bruff now. Bruff has to actually be careful. But he's out of E-speeds, I'm pretty sure, yes. Dreadnought spawning in 23 seconds. Sadly, we still can't see who has Unite move up and who doesn't, but I assume everyone has Unite move up right now. Actually, Greninja might not have it. Tens was using it quite late, and Greninja is one of the actually has the highest cooldown out of any Pokemon on his Unite move, so he might not have it up. And if Greninja doesn't have Unite for this fight, I feel like there's no way they can win this. Blissey also not level 8 yet. Where's Blissey? Bazid not having level 8 yet. Alright, second red is being started by Yermans. But both teams are just kind of waiting for someone to do something. Yeah, I mean, it's not even hitting it. They don't want to. They don't want to flip it. They just want to win a team fight. But this gives Greninja the time to maybe get his unite back up in time. And now they're bursting it. The fluffy tail goes down. The water spout. And Lucari passes on top. And Lucari gets it with his unite move. Nice bliss unite on the Greninja though. Can they find kills at least to clean up? Blasto is hitting a nice unite on Tens, kind of making him bit useless in this team fight. And they do get potato. Potato goes down to the Soul Cinder Ace. Water spouting. Under the goal, but that's going a bit too deep. There's still a goal there, guys. You have to be careful. And yeah, they just turn it around. There's one reset on the serve. There's a second reset. Can't find the third reset, but there's a double kill for tens already. Can you find the third one? Azeron playing this super well. Spacing very well here. Getting the kill on tens, actually. Counter kill. Bruff no. <laughs> just standing there, dying to the water spout. Trying his best to maybe pierce something. For Shruki also goes down to send ace. There's the send ace unite on potato, and potato is also just gonna die. Picks up a berry, but no, he also just dies. And it's gonna be a huge overcap. Quadra kill! For Azeron, the Cinder Ace, and a 39 overcap. And now Cinder Ace is just going to be level 15 for Zepdos. He is just going to be 15. Gets a nice play on tens. Gets a quadra kill. A 50 cap. And suddenly he almost has a 2 level lead over tens. He's going to be easily level 15. He has 130 to farm. For his 15, Gotham is also go going over to the side of Yermans. And I always thought that the Germans would just get cleaned up there, but somehow they still managed to turn it around. Ezron with a nice play. Bazid with the goal getter Blissey. Killing bot goal. But Tense is very deep again. But Ezron jumping way too deep. No, Ezron's not the one that jumps way too deep. Gets picked off. Tense gets the experience as well. Oh, what a disaster. Can they score as well? Edigos is trying to maybe hold it off. Can Edigos do it? They're all just trying to score. Edigos can't really pick a target, but Tense is being hit. Ezron, no, 99 is looking for the E speeds. He's dropping very, very low, but he's still finding kills. Nice white guard CC, but no, nine heads dies. Potato's also gonna die. Egg Slash not looking too hot in this game yet. And uh, it's just the carries being a bit too aggressive. Tense and Azeron making few mistakes here and there, costing their team a lot of experience. Rotom in the top side, but doesn't really matter much. Actually, no, it does matter. 999 can make this easily, right? Yeah, he can. Both of them are actually gonna make it. Nice cap on the side. They're actually gonna break this goal as well and open the end base. They will die for this, but it's for sure worth it. They also pick up a Dreadnought in the meantime. And Lucario goes down, but he's gonna be up for Zapdos. They both are gonna respawn just in time. And they make it there. Five guys can look for a push on top side. Would be nice to kill this goal as well, to have more space on top side. And Nazo has to be careful, he just walks in no man's land, trying to get to top lane, but the water spot just goes through and Bluff has to be careful. Potato leaving the goal at 1 HP. Full healing, he's just gonna white guard and save. And there's a big tough unite by Bruff. They just wanna win a team fight right now and do Zapdos instantly afterwards. Can they do it? Blaine has to counter, has to passively blast this unite just to live. Azeron also with Unite booth currently on. And they get one kill, but Tens gets two kills. But Tens dies, it's a one for two so far. Not sure which Unite boosts are still up. But Yermans are looking for the push now. Bruff is also gonna die. And uh, 999 should be able to hold these off. Let's see how they play this. Azeron should just be able to kill Night Hands quite easily. Night Hands still has Unite move though. They have to be careful. Edigos count Unite moving. Body bringing his teammates. Gonna heat them up right now as well. And Potato just goes in and dies. Not much the Slash can do in this scenario. And honestly, I think that should be game. Unless Washed Rookie puts a complete miracle here. But they just focus him down before Zapdos dies. And they get Zapdos. Zapdos going over the side of Yermans. And uh, Azeron should be careful though. Does that full heal? But plays very well. Oh, nice kiting again. Can he live? Yes, he can. He can live, also takes down Vazid. Cinder is popping off. There's still one minute to go. The game is not necessarily over yet, but uh, it's looking quite bad. As 9 and 9 gets his coins in as well. Okay, now it's for sure over. Edigo scores, 9 to Lucario scores. And it's the surrender vote. There's the surrender vote. Jervin's take down Firecase in the game, in the first game.
Nicely done. Let's look at some damage numbers for the boys. Airstorm with the highest damage, Tens with the second highest damage. The carry is doing their jobs, but Sindays was victorious. They're thinking longer time about this. The Sidrai, okay, the Sidrai. And now five guys with the last pick. I mean, they kind of have like a. Yeah, I mean, the score comp, but what do they need? Pikachu, okay, just a Pikachu for the side of five guys. All right, just a casual Pikachu. So we have Lucario, Guidon, Slowbro, Dralodon, Pikachu against. Eregos, Dragon Knight, Vigitav, Machamp, and Decidueye. So it's probably going to be a bot lane Decidueye for sure. Curious how they play this. Game number two between five guys and Yermans. Currently, Yermans leading with one game. We have some quite interesting team comps over here. Is Draft going to go invade? Yeah, looks like he's invading. Already on his way towards the enemy jungle. Dratini is pretty invadable. Has very very big early game. Has some secure with the dragon dragon breath, but not the best either. So Refish is gonna sneak his way over here and see if he can get there in time. And it doesn't look like he can. He's gonna go for Corpfish instead, and then he's gonna look to contest the red buff. Reedon did get a nerf where he takes a bit longer now, but he just takes away Corpfish, gets level three already. Kiva's here now, but he's just gonna buy time. There's no way Breath probably dies here, there's absolutely no chance. And the Sidrai! The Sidrai is he gonna die? Yes! Wash Rookie blinking forward, killing the owl. I like it. Like by Chris. Good play. Killing the owl. Good job. Bruff now just being very annoying. Stealing a berry away. Can he get away though? He probably stays focus bend as well. He doesn't have to worry about too much. Actually, no, he doesn't run focus bend. Oh, wait, he's just buying so much time. Ezra is only level 4. Meanwhile, we have Tens already on level 5 on top side. Getting some scores in as well. Stealing a berry away. So, the setting for Falco is looking great. And now you can still contest the red buff again. Ezra is going to be so under level this game. Bruff just being a pain in pain in the butt so far this game. But actually, Bruff has to be careful though. Can he can he fluffy tail this and get it and before he, before he dies? It doesn't look like it. No, he can! He still sees away the red buff. And they're trying to get this kill to Azeron. He doesn't even get level 5 from it still though, anyways. Oh god, that's so sad to watch. So Bruff's green paying off quite big in this game so far. Denying the enemy jungler so much time and experience. And bot lane, it's still looking great for five guys. When there's a pick off, can they kill? Yeah, the owl dies. The Sidrai goes down. Nice electro web and thunder combo. Can they find one more kill as well? Kiva, no. Kiva gets the kill. But he just be a bit careful now, but I don't think he's gonna die. Breath is no bot lane. Can he find a counter kill? He's not gonna go for Edigos. I really thought he's gonna go for this Edigos kill. Oh, there we go. There's the tech Ellen. But doesn't fully commit for it. I feel like he probably could have gotten the kill, but it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, the music, I'm sorry. And uh, Breath just taking the Odin away. Hobbiting away. Meanwhile, we have Tens on top side, already level 7.5, almost 8. It's gonna get a 30 score off as well. So Tens already level 8, Azeron only 6.5. So a huge difference in experience. Tens is easily gonna be level 9. Is he gonna ward his way towards bot lane already? Does look like it a bit? No, he's gonna stay top for the bees. Might be a bit too late, but. The side of, you know, Yemens don't have too much damage for this threat now. Azeron is struggling to get level 8. So there's one entire level to go. And Potato just getting a kill with Pikachu on bot side. Decidrui going down yet again. Having no fun in this game so far. BB scores into the side of five guys quite easily. Now Dread is spawning in 10 seconds. Tens now hitting level 9. Clears the B so fast with Stealth Rock and Dragon Pulse. He's gonna make. This just should be just an easy easy win for five guys over this first Dread now. But we do have a Dragon Knight, so he still managed to get level Dragon Knight somehow. But Tens is probably just gonna go in this brush. Use his Dragon, uh, Unite move instantly. Very aggressively. I want to see him using. Yeah, there's we go. There's very aggressively Dragon Pulse. One kill already. But also Lucario dies. Potato is down. But they do find a second kill. But the Dread is very, very far pushed out. It's gonna probably re-leech. It might just go back. No, no, actually not. No, no, it's, yeah, it's healing now. But Tens is so fat right now. Triple kill already for Tens. And the Owl again. Just <laughs> so a quadra kill over to Tens. And this decidua is just not working out so far. Can Tens even get more? There's a nice thing though, and oh no, they can't get it. It still goes over to Tens to the Duraladon. Getting the Dread now as well after a quadra kill. Ruff now looking for any kills. Potato's already back, but I think no, his extreme speed didn't get cancelled. There we go, there's Potato. Getting one more kill. Still has one more extreme speed. Oh, he misses the last one. But he's done. Bone rushes in against Edigos, anyways. 
Nicely played by Potato. 999 getting a revenge kill on Greedent. Can he find more? No, Potato's denied proving him and gets a triple kill for himself. Nicely done. This is the thing with Lucario. If you press Unite on top of someone, it actually does crazy damage. A lot of people do not know this. And watch Rookie look for something now. Blaine finally level 7. Has Spirit Shackle unlocked. He's gonna look for those Spirit Shackle now, but nice Pikachu Unite. He can just use it right now. You will have it easily for the next Dreadnought fight. Gonna kill, get a kill on Nazo. Yes, really tough goes down. Another Spirit Shackle comes through, and Debian Unite with his Azeron going into the zone. But he doesn't really go for it. He just wants to kill the Pikachu. Can he get him? Next Hyper Beam, there's. No, he blinks away from it. Can't quite make it. Stobo gets a kill on the Dragon Knight as well. But nice, the Sidrui Snipe. Gets himself a lot of experience there. It's already level 9 now. I was out of nowhere suddenly. Nice snipe by him. On the Lucario. Can Vazid hold down bot lane? He's getting both quite hard. Wash Rookie is back now. And the Thunder. The Sidrui also Unite moving. Just wants to really, really badly score. He has, remember, he has attack weight on. He just wants those attack weight stacks so badly right now. Can he find another snipe? Oh my god, double kill for the Decidui. There we go, the sniping has started. Potato's back now. Can he find a kill? Yes, the Bone Rush takes down. Dima champ. But Blaine, pretty happy now. Actually level 11 on the Decidui, so... He's making a huge comeback. Huge comeback out of experience. So he's actually gonna be quite useful now. Yeah, the Owl is online, officially. Ruff getting the Rotom on top lane, though. Is he gonna push with this? Not... I mean, he can't really eat too much. Just gonna just try to be annoying and buy time. Actually, just Unite moves. He can kill my champ quite easily, right? There's the Corvette. There's the badge. Can he find 99 trying his best to outrun it? But there we go. Nice driving by Bruff on the Greedent, handling the, the red. And can Rotom go in though? Can he? I don't think he can kill this Dragon Knight under the tier 2 goal. He's just gonna score. Wait, he just scores in front of his face. No! Azeron out of attack range there. And Bruff just BMing him, just scoring right on top of his face. Let's look at bot lane 10's Unite moving, but actually got cancelled. It did get cancelled. Can Blaine do anything with this? He doesn't have Unite move himself. Who gets this? Dragon Pulse or Spirit Shackle? It goes over to the Dragon Pulse. Nice done by 10s. Good timing. Gets Dread on the Dragon Pulse. And there's still a fight going on. The Tens has to be careful now. Gets falling asleep. He's falling asleep. He has a Machamp dynamic punch as well. And the Hyper Beam takes him down. Machamp using looking for Unite. Doesn't really hit anything though. And Bleed Tough goes down. Ezreal very deep now. Jumping onto the spot. But a nice surf hits 999. And he goes down as well. But they find one more kill on Potato. Trying to go for Edogos. Points in the end. And yeah, no fighting still going on. Even after the Dread has died. Tens just not making it fast to his goal back in time. Gets picked off. And a decision right now on level 13, the highest level in the game together with 10s. So after this horrendous early game, somehow on level 13. Right, comeback experience and this is right? So they'll be hitting some nice things now, but Bluff's just jumping in, using a score sheet buddy barrier. Just get a score. They're gonna break the score right here as well. And they have to be careful now, Blaine. Does have to use this Unite move as well, but yeah, they're just gonna run away now. Bluff should be getting out easily. Can go back to their tier 1 goal and just defend it on there. Dragon Knight might have another Unite move soon and look for a break on this as well. There's a Hyper Beam going on Vazid. Vazid has to be careful, but hits a nice surf, heating him a lot. There's another Spirit Shackle. Can Vazid live? Vazid is literally on 1 HP. But the 50 cap goes in from Dragon Knight and they break the goal. Now Vazid finally dies, but Pikachu picking off this is dry. There's a run and looking for the Pikachu as well. Next Hyper Beam is going to take him down, yes. And Braff also gets hit by it. He has to be careful, but lives on 1 HP. But they're going to score more points even. Braff can't stop this. No, he can't. And a nice comeback from the Germans, they do die here in the end, but at least they scored some points. Meanwhile, top side we have a Rotom being taken. This game is just, you know, I just went from 0 to 100 in just a second. 10, almost level 15 right now. It's gonna hit it pretty easily. Are they gonna go for this last red now? They actually go for it. Okay, they're going for the last red. They just know that they have good position. I would still be kind of scared that Germans just go for the flips. I mean, they're called, they're called German burger flippers for a reason. Because they like to flip Zapdos on spawn. And then we see the Sidra already X speeding towards Zapdos. You can see it. I already started calling it. And they already just rushed towards Zapdos. Are they going to start it as well? No, they just run, walk into the middle. But actually, Tens is just starting it. Tens is Unite moving onto the Dread. Uh, onto the Zapdos, I'm sorry. And Love Unite moves going. Potato and the Oil just gets over. And he has no chance against the Green Lucario. The Sidra just dies. Triple kill for the side of five guys. Now so literally one HP. He's going to die to an auto attack. Only Dragon Knight is left. And this, this was a complete team wipe. No chance. Absolutely no chance for the set of Germans. Just completely overrun by the Greedent Lucario. The Sidra is not standing, he's taking a bit of chance. GG's. That is a tight series. We go into a game number three. Game number three.
check the damage numbers. There we go. A2 on the Pikachu. Highest damage inside of the Yermans on the Dragonite. Closely followed by the Sidroi. And Zara Aura! Zara Aura? Is that a mispick? We see a Zara Aura. Atsumere! Atsumere! That's the first companion of Atsumere, I think. Oh my, alright, you have an Atsumere. Fluffy Terran Bruff, and we see Scope Lens, Score Shield, and Body Barrier on the Atsumere. Okay. The last deciding game, who wins the series between Five Guys and Yermans? We have some interesting picks, Zao Aura, a Atsumare, so quite fancy this one. And let's see how they lane. So they're actually going three top lane, uh, bot lane. I expected a 2 1 2 in the set of Yermans, but instead we have the Five Guys with a 2 1 2. Town of Lane Lucario bot side. They're gonna completely bully the Atsumare and Bruff and Nine Tails on bot side. Nazu already looking for a backout Dino, but Five Guys is aware of this. They know how to play against Greenland. And Wash Rookie is just gonna work on the Sweden as much as he can. But the Fluffy Tail Tech is probably gonna secure it quite easily. But he's doing a lot of damage, but there's the Fluffy Tail. No, that's just the Tech, and he gets the last hit quite easily. Probably he's gonna get out super easily too. He's just gonna steal the barrier away without any issues. But top lane, Natsumara goes down. Natsumara is going down. And the 2 1 2 having no chance. 2 versus 1, I mean. Act the Tech as well, can't really get out whatsoever. Goes down, and we have Tens hovering towards top side. Trying to get the Apom actually does get it as well. This one make tense, make sure he gets maybe level 10. Which might be impossible, to, but who knows? Maybe he can get level 10. Potato tries his best to get the Corpfish himself as well. And we have a top side. Azeron is top as well. I don't think I have a chance on here though. You have to be kinda careful. That Sumer has no no escapes. I mean does have Tekke, right? But yeah, okay, the beach just completely disappear. Five guys takes all of them up. So already backing for his next run clear. Bosh Rookie has to be careful. Actually, it's taken down with the boosted auto attack of Dralodon. A bit too aggressive there. And now they all get their scores in. Huge mistake by Bosh Rookie. And Nazu also just leading the battery away. Making Bruff a bit sad. Tense though, pretty high level already. Ezron half a level behind. And the Greedon just seeding another thing away. Already level 5. He's gonna get his covered here. He's gonna probably score as well. And he just runs into the enemy jungle, but it's already cleared. So Tan's just on his very fast jung jungle rotation, making sure the Greedon can't invade him. But we see Bruff going down. Bazid is also 1 HP. Next Dragon Dance, can he reach him? There we go, there's the auto attack. Bazid dying to Dragon Knight. Looking for the invade, can't quite do it. And the Fluffy Tail goes down on the Corfish. Secures another last hit for the set of Greedon. Atsuma, I hope not having a good time yet. Let's see what build, what build do we have. I'm not level 5 yet. So we can't quite see it. He just gets taken down. Potatoes, like, just what do you want from me? Takes on Atsuma in three at, uh, extreme speeds. No big deal. Can he stop the scoring as well? No, Meteor meshes him. Doesn't have extreme speed up. Can't stop the score. Atsuma in only level 4. Getting completely dumpstered so far. But to be fair, he was in a 1v2, so didn't really have much of a chance. Um, Tans clean his jungle again. Now being level 8 already, which means he's gonna get. Which bit is he? Discharge. He's actually discharged the aura. You have a discharge the aura. No white charge, which I think is fine. That means have no really support, so still should do still a good amount of damage. Lane level 7, we almost have Dragon Knight. Not quite yet, though. He needs one more last. Can he get this? Oh, he does steal it away with the blue buff auto attack. And gets level 8. That's huge for the side of the Yermans. Now so level 8. It's gonna get flipped instantly. It's gonna be Fluffy Tails going down. But who gets this? The Dragon Knight, probably. No, it goes over to Blast Toys. Bruff securing some of the dread, but they have to be careful now. They're gonna die. Vazik goes down. Bruff is already dead. Then Tense also dies. And looks like Nine Tits is also gonna die. No, probably not. Has has aura veil up. Just gonna kite back to his goal. And somehow Bruff is the one who gets it. Unbelievable. Potato looking for something now. And he just finds a very nice kill. Takes down Duraladon. Has a bone rush as well. He's gonna look just for more kills. Doesn't have to be too aggressive though, but he's very aggressive. You know, you know Potato. Potato doesn't care. Uses Unite Move to live. And they still just get one more kill. Greedon goes down. Goal goes in. 999, absolutely useless on the Atsumeru so far. Goods taken down as well. That's two more kills. For Shuruki has to be careful. Hops away. Last second with the way. And now Tens is here. Can he find a kill? No, not quite. Kiva lives. The charge not dealing enough damage. On the current patch, can't quite secure the kill. Lane now looking for the enemy Odinos. Can he find some? Yes, he can. Gets level 9 himself. Now he's looking for something on top side. But Potato being able to secure these A-Poms. 
neither team having going for the Rotom yet. No, we don't have Aquat here. We have actually. I this is the. I really hate this Atsumeru build. This Atsumeru build, I absolutely hate. Um, we have the Whirlpool and the Aqua Jet, or what's it called? Water Gun? Aqua, Aqua Gun? I'm not sure what it's called. Actually, I always forget the name of it. But I really, really dislike this Atsumeru build. Not a fan of it. I feel like it just lacks a lot of things. And he can't really stick to targets as easily. Water Pulse, that's the name. Water Pulse, yeah. Rough breaking, breaking bot goal here with a nice overcap. Not too much, but. Big experience going over to the side of five guys. Are they gonna look for a goal getter score as well? They're going very deep for this. And Bruff is just diving the T2 goal right now. Has to be careful though. Has full drink put sex on him, but he should be able to get out. Steals away the core push. Bruff just doesn't care. Still away the APOM as well. I see the next red is spawning in two seconds. And we just have the Drang Knight, the Drang Pulse go down. Can Bluff steal this away? He has Fluffy Tail, but nice Slowbury Knight is gonna deny it! And it goes over to Drang Knight. Vazit is gonna die as well. Bluff just gets denied by the Slowbro instantly. Very nice done by Kiva. Singling him out. And we still have 11 9 or 9 heads yet. They're gonna get some scores in 40 go in, 19 go in. And Potato also dies. Place also gets dropped. The score she goes in. Can he get it off? No, he can't. Gets interrupted in the 29th score. Gets taken down by Bluff. Spinning towards Nazu, no, I don't think it's gonna be big of a deal though, he's just gonna get out. Without any issues. No, actually he doesn't. He's just red buff slowed. What? No, does he get out? Does he get out the, the red? Can he get out? No, yes, no. There's the score sheet. Now nah, he gets taken down, finally. Reedon goes down. Potato on top side. Looking for some extreme speeds, but he's in a 1v3 right now. Can he find a kill though, actually? He's almost, almost. He has Unite move right now. They do find slow, bro. Potato going on to Arnold in this way. Deletes him to Tens also using his Unite move. Now going on to Azaron. And uh, we don't have any extreme speeds left. He's gonna have them soon. There we go. There's the Bone Rush as well to reset his mark. And he gets taken down before landing. Triple kill for Tens. Level 30 now for the Zaora. Probably gonna be level 14 for late game. He's gonna do a lot of damage in those team fights. Very important for Zapdos. Cause Zapdos is gonna get flipped, guys. As soon as Zapdos is spawning, it will be dead. Um, pretty sure of that, so... It's gonna be either important to kill characters afterwards, or to have as much damage to hopefully get uh, Zapdos. Could also just play for kids, obviously, but quite difficult. We only have a small point lead so far for the five guys. One minute to go into Zapdos, and Brave Unite moving! Very late, but it's totally fine, you can probably farm it up again. But quite questionable Unite move there, I would feel like. Just wanted a kid to maybe get Rotom, but he's just gonna die. Next rank points, can he reach with this? No. Bruff gets out. His focus band does get procced. Nazo meanwhile is stealing camps away. And this Rotom is gonna go by two. Can Tens do anything about this? Yeah, gets that Sumeric kill, but actually he's gonna die. Yeah, he's just gonna die, but Potato can find one revenge kill. Can he find another one? No. He's gonna die as well. And Five Guys making some questionable plays here in the late game. You have 40 seconds to go until Zepto spawns. Now, Yermans and a small lead in points. Queen still being annoying. Knight hits only level 11. What should be 13 on Zepdos for the better way? Can't quite find it. He's just gonna try to deal with. He just can't deal with Queen whatsoever. Knight hits has no chance against this character. Yeah, he, he just doesn't even care about him attacking him anymore. And Yermin's also getting one more Dreadnought here, getting some more experience for themselves. If they can't even kill this in time, they have very low damage. But they have 10 more seconds, so should be fine. Drain Knight, actually, he's gonna die here. Wait, this could be a huge throw if he doesn't get out. Unite moves away, can Vazid chase him? If he dies here, they can just instantly... Okay, yeah, he gets out. Doesn't have Unite move though now. Doesn't have Unite move. I'm not a big fan of this play, and now they're just gonna start. They're not... They're not Drain Knight can't get here! So it's actually just... Five guys starting this now, using Unite moves already. Who's gonna get this? Do we have Zaura Unite going down to the Fluffy Tail? And goes over to Bruff! Bruff gets it with the Water Spot, Fluffy Tail. Can they find kids as well? They have to be careful, Lucari's already dead. And Drang Knight kind of just allowing five guys to walk to Zepdos here in this scenario. Watch Rookie goes down, can they go score? We have 78 going in for the Town of Flame. It's not over though. Ruff is gonna score 100, but they're gonna just counter score a lot of points right here. Yermans are gonna be in the lead actually. Yermans are gonna be in the lead. They're scoring 100 more points. No, he can actually stop it. No, it's only 29 points difference. Can Vazid also find Blaine? Oh, this is gonna be such an intense last, last 90 seconds. This is gonna be so intense. We have 29 point lead for the side of Yermans. Vazid clutching in, being able to stop the score in the last second. And we remember we have score sheets and stuff as well, so... Ooh, this is gonna get crazy. This is gonna get absolutely close. Gonna have a Dragon Knight as well, being able to fly in. We have Gorgetter still on the side of Tarn of Flame. And she knows Gorgetter won't be up in time. This Gorgetter will not be up in time, but he's already looking for some stuff. 
Is Unite Boost gonna be up? And Greed and actually just dies. Greed and dies. Making a blunder there and they're just all running towards the enemy base now, but so does the Yermans, but the Yermans don't have enough points. If Dralion can hold this on his own, Dragnet already flying in, scoring 42 times 2 points. Can Blaine hold them off right here? There's the, there's the Unite coming in. Actually, Gold Gatter's up now. I think it was a visual bug. It showed me it was on cooldown. And they just killed Dralion. But they're still over 100 points behind them. They need to score many more points. Can they get them off? No, not right. There's the Surf. Dying a lot of time. Last reason it comes down. Does Bruff have? Can Bruff score? No, he's just going for the Water Spout. Can he find kills though? They're still 60 points behind. And now they're going to die. I don't think they can make it. The score is just too much. The end base just heals way too much. And Yermans. Despite losing Zepdos, are taking this win. Wow. Germans take this win despite losing Zepdos. Crazy. Let's look at some damage numbers. And we have a 2 1 victory. 2-1 victory for the side of Germans. Atsumeri winning a game. Atsumeri winning a game. GG's.